With the help of AI, I will be building a successful online business and I'll walk you through step by step how I did it. And I promise, what I show you today will help you grow your business and generate some cash on the side. You will learn a lot of different techniques to help build your own business from scratch using AI tools. So you're probably wondering what the business is about. Well, let me show you. For those of you who've been to a wedding, I'm sure you're familiar with the book that they give you at the beginning, giving information on the wedding from the menu to the order of the ceremony. It's a staple to pretty much every wedding. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, basically, it's a booklet that is a guide and tells the person information about the bride and the groom to help you navigate the ceremony and figure out the timing. And this is what I've decided to start with the help of AI. I mean, there are thousands of weddings every single week all across the world. But even if you have a revolutionary business idea, it won't matter if there's no demand for the product. So that's the first step. Finding the product or idea and making sure there's high demand and ideally low supply so the product is not overly saturated. So please consider subscribing, liking, and commenting on this video, especially as there is a giveaway for $10. Simply make a comment with your PayPal, Venmo, or Cash App username, and after one week, I will randomly choose a person who commented to win the $10, but you can only win the $10 if you are subscribed to my channel and have liked the video. Either way, let's get back into it. To find the idea, I first went to ChatGPT and asked what were some business ideas I could do online with the help of AI. One of the items on that list was booklets. When prompted, it gave me further information on a variety of different booklets, one of which was a wedding booklet. The way I checked the supply and demand was by going on Etsy and using the keyword feature to check the score of wedding booklets. And it was a pretty good topic. So you know there's some amount of demand. But I went to some of these Etsy stores selling wedding booklets just to see how they were doing. And there was definitely demand for it. I found multiple stores making 6000 a month in profit from a single wedding book. But it doesn't matter if you found a good topic with high demand and low supply if you don't stand out. In order to make money, you need to do something different. And one theme I noticed among all of these different wedding booklets on Etsy is there wasn't that many customizable features available. Some of them might give you an editable template, but not everyone has the time or is tech savvy enough to edit a booklet to the point of professionalism. So that is what we're going to do differently. Make a service where the customer tells us all the information about their wedding, include color preference and theme. I will then custom design the wedding booklet to fit the client's wishes. So if they don't like the flower template on the design and instead won't want it to be a beach or something more personal, I can offer that service while other sellers would be unable to do so. But it is hard to sell services like this on Etsy alone. So I'll be making a custom website and agency to sell the fully featured designs where I will edit it. And I'm also going to be selling a downloadable template on Etsy just in case people want to. And once we finalize the designs for our clients, we'll simply ship off our product using either Printify or Printful. But before choosing the actual design, you must meet all of the following criteria if you wish for your business to succeed. First off, is there demand for your product and how much supply is there? Again, if no one wants it, it doesn't matter how unique or how good of an idea it is, as it won't get any sales. And same thing goes with supply. If there's hundreds of thousands of other people selling the exact same product, the odds are that your new store selling the exact same thing isn't going to get much sales. Criteria number two, making sure your product is different or unique. Odds are you're not the first one to think of your business idea. So what's stopping people from choosing other more renowned products over your own? If you ever want to see your business succeed, you need to stand out from the herd. I don't care how, but find something different and make your product unique. Criteria number three, figuring out how to sell this item and service and where you will find customers. It's important to have a plan on where you will sell the product and to who. Just knowing a few websites to sell on and a few potential clients or groups of clients is going to be enough. Knowing if you're planning on selling at a farmer's market to middle-aged people who are looking to eat natural versus selling like Red Bull to teenagers online, you need to have a general idea of who you're selling to and where to sell it. Finally, the fourth one, Will this product make you money? There is no point in starting a business if you're going to be losing money and have no plan to generate revenue. If it costs you more to make the item than you can sell it, it doesn't matter, as you will go broke and the idea will fail. So do whatever it is that you need to do so that you are generating profit with the item most times. But we can't get our head of ourselves. 
We don't even have the wedding booklet in the first place, so we'll have no idea how much it'll cost. And I don't have any experience with making wedding booklets, so I'll ask ChatGPT for a basic outline of a wedding booklet with a short description of what to include and what each section is about. I asked for some changes to it, and by the end, I had a seven page long skeleton of a wedding book design, but we still need the body or the juice of the book. So I asked ChatGPT to give me an example of a wedding booklet using the following criteria with the use of fake names, dates, and times. And with this, we basically have the design for a wedding book. Of course, we'll change up the example a bit so it fits better, but it doesn't matter that much as we'll be customizing the entire design for each new client. And since we are making the books for them ourselves, we can charge a much steeper price for our service. Now we will actually go to Canva and make and implement our design. You can choose to go from scratch with the design and just build it up step by step, but I would rather not do that, so I simply searched in templates for wedding booklets, and I chose one of the topics I liked. I didn't really like the color scheme and the fonts too much, so I asked ChatGPT for some recommendations for fonts and color schemes. Of the five options it gave me for each, I chose to use for the fonts Playfair and Amsterdam 2. That way we have some cursive font that looks nice, and then we have a font people can actually read for the information. And for the color scheme, I used green and white. I chose the green and white color scheme as currently it is spring moving into summer, which is one of the most popular times for weddings in the Northern Hemisphere. Especially since where I live, most of the weddings tend to be outdoors and in nature, which perfectly fits the green and white nature vibe, especially because on our wedding booklet, we have flower designs on it. Once I had the template and the color scheme and fonts figured out, I simply took all the information from ChatGPT and I plugged it into the template. And just like that, we now have a fully functioning wedding booklet. And if this video does well, I will continue the series by going over how to create the website, the questionnaire, and how to actually get clients. So make sure to subscribe, like, and comment if you wish to see more of this series. Either way, thank you so much. Have a good day.